today we spent 9.5 million big ones, baby. One, two, three. <clears throat> on 77 beautiful brand new rooms. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a problem here. Bounce each other? Oh. <clears throat> That's what my wife does to me. I got it. No, <laughs> You got a big old belly. Don't hurt me now. You ready? One, two, three. It's not a big deal, but it's in our own backyard. It's only 77 rooms. That's the smallest hotel we got, but it's brand spanking new, baby, or almost. It's just like my roses. I don't buy them new. I'm buying it two years old. It's better than building it. How are you? My name's my Ben. Uh, my name is Jules. Jewel? Yep, that's it. That's a good name to have. Thank you, Mr. Ben. Jewel or Jewel? Yes. It, there is an S. Jewels. She yes. just didn't want one Jewel. She wanted <laughs> Jewels. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. Normally, Happy has to come in to these old beat up properties, <laughs> and, and the problems are out of this world. 21 story building, we had to run new plumbing lines in. Oh. So, this is nice to walk into such a nice place, you know? You're in the best hands you could probably be in. Perfect. We just look at the place, oh, it looks great. You know, leave Happy alone, let him do whatever he wants. Perfect. Because he, he knows he's an expert. So, you know, Happy looked at it, he looked at the numbers, you know, he told us it would be a good deal, he can run it better. So, we're going to keep this place and take it up to the next level, even though it's at a good level already. But look what we got coming in here. Soldiers. This is, a, this is a good place. All right, you know why this is a good place? Because it's right near an Air Force base. What better clientele could you ask for than being next to a, a large military Air Force base? And I was in the Army. Air Force is like the top, the, the real smart ones. You know, if you're really not that smart, you go in the Army. If you're kind of smart, you go in the Navy. And if you're really smart, you go in the Air Force. That's the way I always saw it. There's free water right there. Free water? I want something. You got any diet stuff? Right here. This one has no sugar. Free water. <laughs> you funny. You funny fat boy. You give me water with no sugar. I'd kill for you. I haven't had a you who in, in five or ten years. You don't want it. This is the most delicious drink you ever tasted in your life. Once you open it up and you snap it open and you take a sip, you don't stop. You go all the way with a you who, baby. Please tell me they got that much sugar. I'm celebrating. I bought a hotel today. Come on. Holy shit, 33 grams. I will drop dead or lose a leg if I drink this delicious you. I wish I could drink it. I would love to pop this sucker up and down this fucking you. They named it after Ben. Look, boy. <laughs> What we're gonna do is, we're gonna, if it's gonna be a military hotel, we're gonna make it look like, feel like a military hotel. We need some Air Force artwork up here. Voila. Beautiful, brand new, no work to do. Modern, clean, nice, closet, everything. It's a perfect hotel room. All right, it's not that small. You got a refrigerator there, you got an ice bucket, you got a microwave, coffee maker, a place to work, and a place to sleep. What else do you ask for? How much does this room go for? Uh, now 114. Come to the sleep in where all your wet dreams come true. No, I'll put that with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a nice toilet. He loves flushing. No toilets. call, no cover on it. You don't have to worry about the cover. Uh oh, Happy. How many tubs, how many showers in this place? Uh, it's walk in showers and 17 tubs. If the number was the other way, I'd be upset. Covid killed your hotels. You know, you know, listen, there's always a diamond in the rough, and it's all about supply and demand. This hotel has a demand. We are the supply, and we're not a big supply. There's no other supply in this area. There's no really other branded hotel this close to the McDill Air Force Base. We don't get involved with the management, okay? We leave that to Happy. We know we come in. We see value in a property because we know how he operates. We see value in the construction. We see value in the demand that it has with the Air Force Base, and we buy it. Now we turn it over to Happy, and we don't get involved. That's the way a hotel division works. I'm not being honest. We just count the money. We're money counters. That's Happy, it. Happy asks for assistance. We help him out whenever we can. He says, hey, we need this. We need that. We do it. That's it. Okay. That's the, that's the hotel coming from construction. Like, what's wearing it? Uh, I got full set of plans on this place, which means I know where well, every I switch need, is at. I, I have the full set of plans, I need, I need like actual 
you know, architectural plans. So yeah, you can call that instructions, but I mean, no, you figure shit out on, that's how you do it. You get in here, you push this button, you push that button, you see what happens, you figure it out. I mean, that's what you do. That's what I love taking over properties because I love being able to see like, okay, what does this do? Ooh, what is this? So when we took over this property today, it's like looking at all this brand new 2019, you know, technology. If I showed you the boilers in here, there are no boilers. It's all Insta heaters. It's all Insta hot water heaters. Everything in here is not 2019 construction. So everything I get to look at now, I get to say, oh, that's what they're doing now. If you see the AC in here, it's a new ductless AC. One compressor outside and it runs like four or five interior units. It's like a learning experience to me. This is how my dad put me through college. Now, I didn't go to college college. I went to real estate college where my dad said, here, go take over this building. And I learned, actually learned. So I love this stuff. Taking over a new building is like, it's like, it's like Christmas for me. I think we should start taking a lot of our people and offering them opportunities to start working as front desk clerks to make extra money. Ooh. Starting with you, baby. He couldn't last a week in a hotel behind the front desk. He ran out of there, he gave the wrong key to the wrong person. The guy walks in and people are fooling around in the bed while he walks into his room. I mean, he couldn't wait to run away from the hotel desk. <laughs> Why would you put so many people in one room in so quick of a time? I put one person in one place once a year. Okay, I move them into their apartment. They got their key. I'm not tomorrow. I'm not trying to rent it out again. With well, commercial, you do it once every 10 years. Yeah, Five. that's even better. I like that. Come on. Well, no, hey, this one's Tesla. Work on Tesla. This one's Tesla. How can you tell the difference? The, oh my God. We can't control it and just charge them? These are free right now. That one might be charged. Uh, is a franchise permit us to give it away for free? Tesla, baby. I wonder if I took this plug and stuck it in Ben, would it give him a charge? Bend over, baby. Bend over. <laughs> Look at that big pool we got here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got a problem here. Look at this pool. This pool looks like shit at the bottom. It's not sand. It's like the finish is gone. Like the blue is coming off. This pool needed refinishing. And we didn't fucking ding him. We should have said, what? We need a fucking, we should have told him. You know, I was trying to be nice to the guy, but he turned out to be a You know what? We might be able to ass it, wash it. Whatever it takes, let's get this pool looking fresh. Maybe the oh, manufacturer warranty. You can go after the manufacturer warranty on Have that. Have fun with that one. No, this is five, 10 year manufacturer warranty. It starts discoloring like this. When you buy a hotel, what happens to this staff? Well, at this particular hotel, we're keeping the staff on. So Happy comes in, he already met everybody. Now he comes in with our payroll department and they sign up all the new payroll documents and we basically just switch them over from one payroll company to the next. Benefits get rolled over, they sign up for our new benefits and, that, and that's it. The major thing here is getting our merchant processor set up and crossed over because remember, this owner had his credit cards going through one account and now today I have to set up my new account so the credit cards go into my bank account. So that takes a little time, especially integrating it with the choice system and things like that. All right. You wanted numbers? We'll show you some numbers. It's simple. We just bought a hotel. We paid nine five hundred thousand dollars The bank is giving us 80%. They may not give it to you, but they're gonna give it to me. Why? Because they like me. Make the bank like you and they'll give it to you too. How do you make the bank like you? You borrow their money and you pay them back on time and you do it for 25 years, they love you. We're getting 80% loan of seven million six. If you can't get 80%, then put the number you can get. Nine, five, seven, six. That leaves, or you can do times the 20% that I'm putting in, which by the way, came from a 1031 on a recent sale of another hotel that I owned for about a long time, three or four years. That means I'm gonna put down one, million nine hundred thousand dollars simple we believe that when we own that building and operate it after everything is done and said and gone we're gonna noi one million dollars a year that's our target right there but let's see how much cushion room i got in there if i can get a million dollars a year 
off a million nine investment, that's a crazy return. Let's say it was 50%. More than 50% return on my money. Unbelievable. But that don't come easy, baby. This ain't regular real estate where you're sitting around, you know, not doing much. This is a business and it's going to require somebody to operate that business efficiently 24 hours a day, seven days a week, including holidays, making sure they're moving people in, they're moving people out, they're maintaining the place, they're doing the housekeeping, round the clock desk clerks, you name it, they got to worry about it. Washing sheets, this is a business and we trust Happy to do the business. So if all works out, that's the investment I made on my replacement 1031, some of my 1031 money. Okay, that's the story. All right, we showed you the numbers. Now give us the likes so I can keep the Polak out of my hair. I have an assignment for you. Okay, tell me. I'll show you better than tell you. No, it's Come a, on. no, I hate what you show me. This thing is messing up the floor because it weighs too much. I need all these quarters gone. The bank said we have to fill these bags up, then they will count them and put the money in our account. So we need those bags half full. You got two scoopers. Let's see if she can even open the bag. Why do you always make fun of me? It says do not open there. I got that. Fill her up, baby. Time to empty the piggy bank. Now Hold just it, look at it, it holds itself now. Look at that. You always wanted to uh, work with money? Well, there you go. You're working with money. Oh I make the money, you move the money. Can I keep some of the money? No, That's actual wait. taxable income. Get it done as soon as you can. But All remember, right. today's Thursday. Tomorrow's the last day the bank's going to be open. Otherwise, we you got to wait over the weekend. All right, fine. We will Bagged up all the quarters. He got rid of the wheelbarrow. You still got the gold box on the floor, Matt. Those are the tire marks to the gold wheelbarrow. Let's take this money and make some money with it. Instead of Bitcoin, this is gonna be Bencoin. And I'm gonna put this money to work. Where do you put it to work? You put it in the bank for right now. And then you start deploying the money wherever you need to. Get these quarters, put them in the car, take them to the bank, and we ain't got much time to do it. Each bag, he says, weighs about 20 pounds. There's 13 bags. So that's about 260 pounds. That's about the same weight as a normal guy that would be put in a trunk. So it should work. This is the perfect car for me. You know why? Because I get in, it's got easy access place for my phone. Cigarettes are right there. And the lighter. Here's my office. We're at our favorite friendly local bank, but they're national, baby, Valley Bank. We pull up to the front door. The great manager here, Chad, is gonna assist us in making our deposit. That's good service. Hey, you think if I went through the drive-thru, it would fit through the, the thing there? No. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. I don't want you to get in trouble. No, You're gonna claim disability and the bank will blame me. papers this is just saying that you trust the bank because you don't know how much the coin is you trust us to count it accurately for you and it's saying you accept it because it's subject to count because we don't know how many quarters it so is. basically i'm Simple. giving you permission to steal <laughs> no i would never do that all right there you appreciate go appreciate it man thank you appreciate thank it man. all right let's get out of here adios amigos